Hello everybody and welcome back to another vlog. Hope you're all doing well. Today we are in, where are we Noor? We're in Jurong, <laughs> in my neighbourhood. In Jurong, we're in Noor's neighbourhood. Yes, this, this is becoming the Noor and Georgia channel at this point. <laughs> but um, yeah, Noor's invited me down to his neighbourhood and we are going to... Do something exciting. We are. We're going to head to the wet market, mm -hmm. to the local wet market and yes take you guys along we're gonna mm -hmm. buy some fresh food and then Noor is gonna cook for us I'm gonna be like Georgia's personal chef for today you only are. for today I think maybe I don't know so Depends. special <laughs> um, so yeah we are in the heartlands today I know a lot welcome, of you welcome. yeah a lot of you guys want to see more of this kind of like I guess how locals live what are we gonna eat today um, what kind of food are we gonna be looking on for? the menu I think we go okay we're gonna look for one seafood we go get one fish so oh yeah we're planning to do some pumpkin roasted pumpkin soup so fish yeah. we're going to find a sea bass if you can find sea bass uh -huh. if you can find a pumpkin we'll find a pumpkin uh -huh. alternatively if you can't find then we try to find a asparagus then we can do like a roast asparagus on a skillet or something sounds amazing i think jurong is like the less talk place the less what yeah, i mean like people don't talk about it like jurong but like, you know there's like a there's like a east and west wall like the people in the east was like okay, if you want to come to the west you have to bring the passport i think like that joke is very very old already so i'm really really tired of that joke already yeah you don't need a passport to come to the west okay Ready? I'm ready. Are you? Welcome to my playground. <laughs> okay, so I think we go look for fish first. And we get vegetables if you need to find any herbs or any banana leaf. Then we'll try to look around the area. So I'm gonna bring you to some of my favorite places to buy for the uh, seafood and all the uh, groceries. So you're gonna get sea bass, right? Yeah. Say that. Noor wants me to guess how much sea bass is. Like how much? Like if you were to go to the normal supermarket at NTC at fair price, eight. Maybe around eight. Eight dollars depends on one kilo. Depends. So we'll let you know how much is it. Okay. Uh, how much? It's definitely like sensory overload when you walk into the wet market. The smells, the sounds, and it's really busy. I didn't expect it to be this busy. Like the lady will always give the best ones okay. so if you're looking for something like if you're not so sure especially if you're very very foreign to the wet market right if you're not so sure what ingredients they try to give you the like the best ingredients pro tip if you want to get really really cheap stuff at the soup uh, at the wet market right like i usually go like one hour or 30 minutes before the wet market close do you know why because they usually like to clear the stocks and they try to sell it at a very cheaper price pro tip if you want to go to the wet market Spring onions, sorry what was that? Okay, spring onions, <laughs> celery, so this is all the things we're going to put on the fish later. So this is like the hooks and all kind of thing. Ginger for the soup. A huge pumpkin to roast later. I think no need plastic huh? Yeah, no plastic. Can I put inside here? Thank you. In total it's 6 
Oh, shit, Shadi's there. Where's that asparagus? Asparagus. Look. Apa dah? Papilinya di. Papilinya di dish, huh? Yeah, you always come in. Doing like evening and all that kind of thing lah. Yeah. Ayah taruh ni ada bag kat sini. Berapa lah tu? Okay, so. How much? Nine dollars a piece. It's not always you can find vine tomatoes in a wet market, though. Have a look at this. How much? One dollar eighty cent. One dollar eighty cent, ah. One hundred. Ah, check first. Hi, and uh, how many? Two five four dollar. Four dollar. Ah, no, wait, 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 wait. I see first. Wow, here. Yeah, I know. Hahaha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle, how much, uncle? Four dollar. Kurang uncle. Three dollar. Three dollar, kira. I tried, I tried, I tried. Okay, 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 okay. So these are all pickled vegetables. Usually if like you see like Chinese restaurant or like usually they eat it porridge or I might be wrong, I'm I'm not so sure. So it's something close to a kimchi. But this is how it looks like. So there's like the braised cabbage, everything and all. Tengok orang Filipin. Tengok orang. Ah. Kalau kalau di Filipin orang ni, saya pun Filipin juga tau. Yes, saya pun like Filipin. Ini orang Melayu lah cik. Alah, sorry lah na. Ambil kita tak boleh differentiate kan. Baik kali, aku sangkut lah. Baik kali. Okay? Okay. They remove this part yang yang hard one. Ini ada keras ni kan? You feel? Like fillers right? Keras. Ah, that one cannot be eaten. Oh sini, oh this one cannot be eaten. Cannot be eaten. So you remove this part. Then the fillers. So this 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 one. And then, uh, you have to do it slowly. Oh, so it's it's all like flowers like inside. Correct. Okay, okay, okay. So you you must remove these fillers. These fillers cannot be eaten. Okay, but this one, if you want to cook, like how do you? Like, okay, master? you remove everything. Yeah. Let it become small. Mm -hmm. Then you boil. Oh, boil. Boil. You makan dengan sambal belacan. Oh, sambal belacan. Ah, but as for this, you fry like you fry veggie. Oh. Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, if you guys like, if you guys buy like Indian, uh, no, Chinese roja, so this is the thing that they will like cut into very small pieces, so they will put inside the roja. Yeah, it mm. is. I don't know what torch is called. Huh? Sorry. That is the name for this. Ginger, ginger torch. Ginger torch. Ginger torch. There you go. In Malay, you call it bunga kantan. Bunga kantan. Flower. Bunga, bunga is a flower. Flower. Bunga kantan. kantan. <laughs> Instead of you give the rose? Yeah.
Noor's house in his beautiful kitchen. The wet market was an experience. I really, really enjoyed that. I was just saying, I don't feel like I've been so like overly stimulated in Singapore for a long time. Like the sights, the sounds, it was really quite busy. It was a lot busier than I expected. And just like the smells and the hustle and the bustle. And it was just really, I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. It was a really great experience and I'd love to go back and um, like take a load of photos. I think it was really cool. But we got all our food. How much did we spend? Approximately around 30 to 40 dollars. Nice. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and start cooking. Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, anyways, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome this is kitchen. such a nice kitchen. It's huge. The best part about the wet market, right? It's always like a learning experience. Uh, the first time I went to the wet market to my with my mom, right? Mm. Um, it was very daunting. It's daunting it's, it's and very, very overwhelming. Yeah, yeah, it is quite Especially daunting. Especially like if you, do, if you don't normally go to the wet market, right? even like for myself growing up, yeah. I don't normally go to the wet market. But usually, if I have to go to the wet market, it's where the time when my mom was like, oh, can you help me to go to the wet market? Because like she needs to carry her groceries, then she needs to push the trolley and all. So if you want to go there, you can go like, if you're first time, you can just follow any of your friends who have been there like often. Yeah. Or alternatively, if uh, for Singaporeans in particular, I mean, majority of Singaporeans, they like to go. If they go with their parents, I think it's like a good learning thing. It's like, oh, you can ask your mom or maybe your dad. A good introduction. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, very, very interesting. Like, today was really nice. But I've been going to the wet market for a very, very long time. Like, thanks to my mom. Yeah. So if you want to buy fish, you don't know, you can literally ask any of the fishmonger, the uncles. Very, very helpful. Yeah. Then if you want to cook like, or maybe like you want to buy prawns, like you want to, what do you want to cook? They will literally tell you what other things they want to buy. Or apparently like um, recently when I was buying the fish, mm. so like uh, they, they, will ask, they were asking me like, do you want to steam it or do you want to grill it or do you want to fry it? So they will know then so they, will, helpful. they will literally like help you descale it, they need to fillet it, anything. They will have very, very fun. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I want to go back. Mm -hmm. All right, should we get cooking? Yes, let's go. Let's do it. What you're currently doing right now is I'm just removing the seeds from the pumpkin. So if you want, you can remove all of this, take the seeds, and then you can put it in the oven, then you can snack on it. To put on salad, etc. But I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna bake it, I'm just gonna remove it. Put some olive oil. We're gonna roast this for at least an hour or 45 minutes. Oh, wow. This is a banana leaf I got from the wet market just now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put over fire just to like tenderize and to perfume the banana leaf. It's like, it's like a changing color. Oh, yeah. Like if you want to touch it, right, Georgia? It's a bit warm. So, like it tender rice. Mm, mm -hmm. so nice. Mm -hmm. So, some spring onions, scallions I got from the wet market. Some ginger, the perfume. It's like I'm currently right now aggressive, aggressively seasoning the fish because like it's gonna lose a lot of moisture so just put as much salt as you like. Beautiful! So yeah, I'm gonna put a bit of chili just for a bit of spice. All good, we're gonna wrap this. We're gonna cook for an hour? One hour, 45 minutes, depending on your oven. I mean, usually what I do with this fish, I do like barbecue events, like some of my friends. So you can put this on the grill also. Yeah. It's really, really good. But since we can't do any barbecue right now with the whole situation right now in Singapore, the oven is like the best option at the moment. So I'm going to wrap this. Okay, pumpkin is out of the oven. Now we're gonna blend it into a soup. And it smells so good. So red onions, garlic. Damn. Damn. Looks so good. Hit. I 
made the stock from all the bees left over when I like supposed to throw it in the trash. It's a vegetable broth. Nice. So yeah, so don't throw it away. You can use it as a vegetable stock if you can. Put inside the freezer. Put inside ice uh in the you know those ice tray? Yeah. Then into uh then if you freeze it, they can use it anytime. Do you taste the ginger though? I can taste everything. There's mm -hmm. so many flavours. So what do you think, Joya? I'll give that one a 10 out of 10. Wow. You guys are missing out. Honestly, that is so good. Thank you. Really good. Yeah, it's fine. I'm very impressed. So Noor has a selection of Harry Raya treats here. Literally, it's still Harry Raya. Oh yeah, it is. Still Harry it's Raya. It's like walking into a candy shop. There's just so many... Cookies. Cookies. <laughs> I want to try them all. It hasn't stopped raining all day, so this has been the perfect afternoon to cook mm -hmm. and stay at home. Wait, have you tried sambal before? I have never tried sambal. So shout out to my auntie. So I order homemade sambal from my from my auntie. I brought her bought this from her. So she's gonna try some. Uh, try at your own risk. But first and foremost, it looks terrifying. <laughs> Look how spicy this looks. I can definitely handle more spice now than I used to, but. Mm -hmm. I think you should try the fish. Okay. Damn, boy. Nailed it, Noor. feel like we're... Nailed it. I feel like we're in a beach a restaurant. somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> we need to open up a restaurant. Delicious. Mm-mm-mm. Mm, okay. Do you want to try it with the sambal? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Okay, let's do like... How much? I'm okay. scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice flavour. Yes. Mmm, that's good. It, because it's not like, too spicy. Mm -hmm. but, no, not so spicy, but it's just like a hint of spice, sweet, sweet. peanut, peanut tea, mm. uh, anchovies also. Mm. Okay guys, I am going to wrap the video up here because we just want to dive into this food and mm. enjoy it. But I really hope you enjoyed coming around with us today. A big thank you to Noor. Thank you for showing me everything. Thank you so much for secrets. inviting me again to be with you. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Um, and it's really nice to finally try your cooking after mm. so long. Um, but yeah, I hope that this encourages you guys to go check out Singapore's wet markets for yourself. Um, come to Jurong. Come to Jurong. Oh yeah, we didn't say where we are. Which yeah. wet market was that? Um, the wet market that we went just now was the Block 505 Jurong West Market. Okay. So it's a mix of the hawker centre and also they have the wet market. And it's there. an impressive yeah. one, like it's huge. Mm -hmm. I was really impressed. Yeah. Please do go hit the like button to thank Noor for sharing his wet market secrets and obviously for his cooking skills. It's been fun. It's it really been really, really, really like fun. So awesome. much fun. Thank you guys for watching as always and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take see you guys. care. Stay safe. <laughs>